swing. Today I've got Sarah with me. We've got the 702s. I'm on the X currently. Sarah's on the standard 702. We're going to go for a little ride. We'll have a chat about them and then we're going to swap and then we'll have a chat and see which one we would both pick. This was the best bike of last year for me that I went on. The 702X. Now this is essentially the same bike as I've already done a review on. So I'm not going to go into the specifications or anything with this bike. It's the same bike. If you want to know about the specifications, have a look back at my previous review of the 702X, which bizarrely is in the green, which is the bike that Sir has got in front, only it's in this variant, this X model. But I do really, really like these bikes. So it's going to be interesting to jump from the X onto the standard 702 just to see what the differences are. It's as comfortable as I remember. Standing up on this bike is just perfect for me. I've not got a fully outstretched arm. My arms have got a little bit of a bend in them, which is nice. It me perfect for a little bit of a light off-roading your farm tracks your gravel tracks i think it's a really really good option and it's all coming back to me now why i liked it in the first place it's just a really comfortable place to park your backside i know there are deals on with these there's loads of deals at the minute trying to get people to buy bikes but it's brilliant for us the consumer because like with this bike it's fully loaded with all of the luggage and everything attached to it and i'm pretty certain that's all thrown in on the deal that they've got at the minute and i'm sure if you were to buy it it's about 1200 pounds that is a lot of money that you're basically getting for free and it's good quality stuff as well I do like the boxes, I'll show you the boxes on this. I've managed to fit my tank bag in the back box on this bike and it just, well there's loads of room in there, it would be absolutely amazing for touring. It is tour ready. Sarah uh, showing off there with a little bit of standing up. Yeah, I do like these bikes. They've got plenty of power. And Sarah's throwing that a bike about a lot. You'd have seen from the bike she's turned up on today. She can ride this girl, she really can. So it is a really good bike. It sits just in that mid-range adventure bracket. Now the good thing is with Benelli's, and I, I class Vosges under this as well, is that they are really, really well priced as well. You do get a lot of bike for the money. Oh, she's giving it the beans down here. I've got to work hard trying to keep up. It's just, it's quality this bike. It, it is really, really loads of fun. If you've bought a GS I know you will say your bike is the best and yeah I would agree the R1300 GS is a better bike than one of these more power more tech I I'm not going to argue that because it's true it is well you could buy three TRK 702s let that sink in you could buy three of them and it would still be cheaper than buying the new R1300 GS. Three of them! You could buy one and have two spare. Just for... Have one for best, one for dirty, one for your mate to play on. You could do that instead of buying the GS. Again, I know the argument is there that the GS is a better bike and if you're using it all the time and blah de blah de blah yeah, I get that. But what I'm trying to get over to you is that you don't have to spend 20,000 or more than 20,000 pounds for a motorcycle when you've got these bikes that do 
pretty much the same job yeah lower speed but you can have just about as much fun on these as you would do on the much more expensive bike right tell you what she's gonna go there i'm gonna go right at the side that'll do me oh. nice little ride anyway we're gonna have a chat gonna be like silly now Hello, so yeah. what's your name where'd you come from <laughs> But everyone's only here for you now anyway. I'll give over. <laughs> right. So me and Sarah, we've just been for a ride on the 702s. I was on the TRK 702X. Sarah was on the standard 702. Um, nice ride down here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very usable real world bike, I would say. They are. It's my first impression. Yeah, yeah. They are. They're nice, nice bikes. I was struggling to keep up with it if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. And I know you were taking it easy on me. <laughs> Honestly, she can ride considerably better than I can. And that's just fact. The devil comes out. Um, as soon as we got here, she says, yeah, I wasn't going too fast. <laughs> I was struggling to keep up with her. What do you think comfort wise on that one? Very comfortable. I rode the 702X yesterday, didn't I? You did. I did you have did. a go on it. And I think, Pulling up here today, I don't think there's a lot of difference between you know the engine and how it performs yeah. and how it delivers the uh, uh, speed and uh, or any of those sort of tech spec stuff. They're both the same. You can't keep they're, your they're... eyes off them though, can you? I know. I'm noticing. I know. I'm noticing. I'm looking at the camera and you're just. I'm just you're like just looking glancing at... at both. I know. I know. Now, see, you've got an advantage over me because I've only been on the 702X. I've not done the standard one. Mm -hmm. You've done them both. Yes. So at this moment in time, mm -hmm. which would you pick? The X. That was, far, that was far too quick. 100%. There was no even thinking about no. it. So go on, why the X? The X, I just, I like the presence of it. I think it looks, I like bikes that have got presence. Okay, so you think like based on looks? Aesthetics is the first. Okay. I'm a woman. <laughs> It's always going to be what it looks like. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, I kind of agree. Like, looks-wise, for me, the... And I keep looking now, making me look. <laughs> I know that the X, for me, looks a little bit beefier. The the off-road tyres, the spoke wheels, it's a little bit taller. It's 45 mil. So, I mean, what's There's not 45 a lot in mil? What's there is not a lot in it. Four and a half centimetres difference. It's not a great deal, but together they it does look bigger doesn't it I was it? Looks... nervous yesterday when I got on that X I was nervous because I couldn't touch the floor so forget tippy toes it was boot it was actually just the tip of the boot that was sort of yeah. keeping the thing upright but what I quickly found was and it's not something because I'm reasonably tall anyway it's not really something that I've ever really had you a are I'm, in with. fact that's why I'm glad we're sat down because if yeah. we were stood up I'd have to be on my tippy toes <laughs> You're not just, going to pair of heels. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to. Uh, in fact, while we're sat here, I'm just going to lord it for a bit. Yeah, it. Small person problems for me. <laughs> but yeah, so go on. So you, then when I got here today, and because I've had a fortunate run in that I've not had to stop in, in many places at traffic lights and things like that, when I pulled in here, I did realise, actually, I thought there is really not a lot in it. No. At all. And when so you've just are you still on your tiptoes on the standard one? Yes. Okay. But maybe it's negligible. All you do is shift your bum over. <laughs> be no, all yeah. right. You do. When you stop, that's yeah. what you do, isn't it? On the adventure bikes, especially yeah. I've got to do it because my short legs, I'm constantly having to shuffle over to one side to get yeah. flat foot down. But what I like about both, well, the X in particular, is it doesn't feel top heavy. No. So you can balance it on your tiptoes and it, yeah. you don't feel like it's going to like go over totally because agree. of the weight. So, And that, that's, that was kind of bringing me on to my next thing then because I think a lot of things with adventure bikes is weight. So, mm. you know, if I look at, if I think of other brands, there are brands out there that are heavier, heavier than those. Yeah. And I think because it feels quite central and low, it's confidence inspiring. I know it sounds contradictory, but it's kind of confidence No, I, I agree with you. Inspiring. I agree with you. I, I mean, I've said the same thing about that riding down here. 
because when you take your first bend on it and you think, oh, it's actually quite yeah. like this to throw around, you instantly get to the next bend and you go, oh, I'm into it. it because yeah. you, you get used to the weight, don't you? And Absolutely. you just go with it. And, it's, and they're very agile as well. They are. I would say that the 702 feels more agile than the X. Okay. But bearing in mind, I think the 702X as well, it's, it's, it's more loaded up, isn't it? There's, and the you different tyres. You can see the bikes behind us there. The 702X has got the luggage pack on the back, so it's got the side panniers and the top box. It does give it a larger presence on the road. It's also got those off-road tyres, so for the road, the standard 702 should be better for the bends. However, the 702X is pretty good as well. Yeah. And you don't notice the boxes until you get to some filtering. Yeah. which we didn't do any coming down here but i was conscious of the fact that it's got a big ass it's sticking <laughs> out a bit at the back and you've just got to be careful with that <laughs> yeah very much so but actually when i rode it yesterday um we were on a national speed limit road and i was i remember i was she took off <laughs> I was expecting, like, I thought, how's this going to handle? Because it was in a headwind as well, if you recall. It was. It was a windy day. Yeah, it was quite it windy. It was windy. And I think... And wet. It was in places. It was yeah. quite damp, wasn't it? And I've ridden bikes before with panniers on, and some will say you shouldn't exceed X amount of speed, blah, 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 when they're on. But there was no, like, wobble or there was nothing, you know, that made me think, oh, I'm going to back off a little bit It's easy to forget about them, isn't it? I personally don't feel the weight on the back. I don't feel the no. size. I'm just conscious of it when it comes to filtering. That's but all. when you're going and you've just got the road ahead of you, you, you could have anything behind this, you, this couldn't you? You don't, you don't even realise that it's on the no. back. And one thing I would say as well when it comes to weight and the whole tippy-toe thing, I'm, what, five, nine, ten? Something like that. Stop showing off. <laughs> But that was fully fueled as well, so it had a full tank of fuel in it. Yeah. I'm on the tip of my boot rather than my toe. Yeah. And I didn't initially when I got on it. As I say, I was a bit, you know, I had a bit of trepidation, but it was absolutely fine. And if it were me in the market for buying one of these machines, I'd have to say I'd go for the X. I just based on my first impression. I I agree. However. <laughs> I've not been on the standard 702 yet and we're going to have a little bit of a swap. We're going to throw our keys over and uh, I want to see what the other one's like. So what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Into Moto on different bikes. We'll confirm. See we'll if I confirm. feel the same way today. Feel if you see the same way because I know you went on the X yesterday but yes. because we're doing like a quick changeover you might notice no difference whatsoever mm -hmm. because you've jumped from one to the other same goes with me i've been on the x before i've never been on that so don't know which one i'm going to prefer so far looks and my ride down here i love the x love it my favorite bike of last year i've said it many a time i, I love it and the price just makes it even better we'll swap keys we'll go for another ride we'll talk again in a mo I'm trying to be cool here, stop it. <laughs> Time to go on the green machine. I'm not actually noticing much difference other than this one has my favorite paint job on. And it does, and I like the green. There are very subtle differences on that bike to this. Height being one of them, slightly taller. It's got the bigger wheels. It's got the chunkier tires. The, if you looked over it, you'd see odd little tweaks here and there, including the brake discs. The rear brake disc on that is shaped different. I don't know if that makes much difference to the performance. Right, let's go and catch up with her. Performance on this is going to be exactly the same, I and mean, it does feel exactly the same. The tyres on this are more road focused so yeah you do feel that sense of stability that you get from the road tires as opposed to the knobbly ones the x version is a 400 pound difference 400 pound difference but they're still very very well priced 
less than £7,000 for an adventure bike. This bike to ride is very similar to that bike. You can't really tell them apart. For me, you get the bike that's capable of doing everything and that is going to be the X. This is a perfectly capable bike, don't get me wrong. I think if you're buying a bike that is purely to go touring on and you have got no intention whatsoever of going off-road then why spend the £400 extra on the X? Well, yeah, the argument is there and, you know, if you don't mind either looks then yeah, save £400 I'd be quite happy. I'd go and do a European tour on one of them tomorrow. I'd, I would buy one. I've said it so many times. The GS for me is the... That's a top. That's the top of the tree as far as adventure bikes go. But that's the top of the tree money as well. You are paying a lot of money. And do you need to is the point I'm trying to make. And I don't think you do. You could tour the world quite easily on one of these bikes in absolute comfort. You really, really could, you know, at a fraction of the price. In fact, what I would say is for people who will say, oh, Chinese bike, you're going to lose loads of money as soon as you ride out, blah, 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 blah. I get that, you know, Chinese bikes, they can lose a little bit of money, they can. But let's just work this out. You go and buy a brand new GS now for £28,000 or even £20,000. When you go and trade in your brand new GS, I'd be shocked if you hadn't lost the price of one of these bikes. I would be. I would be genuinely surprised if by the time you kept it, if you kept it for a couple of years and off the back of that you hadn't lost six thousand pounds i'd be shocked you're not going to lose six thousand pound on a bike that costs six and a half thousand pound you're not it might lose a couple of thousand pounds over the time of you having it yeah it will like any other bike does but this will not lose the thousands of pounds that you would lose on buying a more expensive bike that is definitely definitely one of the reasons i would say these bikes should be at the top of your wish list we're back at into moto sarah's getting off the x now We'll have a little chat just to confirm that she's standing by her initial decision of the X being her choice. I'd have to say I'd go for the X. Impressions. I, I agree. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.